Welcome back to turn five of Concrete Hell. So, yep, still waiting uh, for things to develop a little bit further. You can see Chap is moving in on Alpha still. Uh, and we'll probably it's time to start reacting a bit when we get to uh, the end of this turn. I just want to see if there's any, uh, he has any pre planned cut off artillery behind the point. I uh, didn't want to run into it last turn, so uh, yep, let's just press go and see what we get. Uh, these turns usually start off with some kind of prophylactic fire from the Bradleys and the... Yep, there we go. So again, uh, Chap is shooting up uh, Delta there. It's Delta. Uh, and stacking up in there. Uh, that kind of tells me, you know, he is worried about his troops being out in the open over there. Um, there's an M240 in the background somewhere, I think. And oh yeah, he has a lot of people up there. Uh, but yeah, once again, very quiet. You can kind of see that he's uh, starting to stack up around here. Uh, this thing did look like it blew up. I'm just getting some. Uh, fire in there again. Uh, but yeah, big blob of contacts up here. These guys uh, we saw last turn. And then he's moved up again here. So again, um, I think he's aiming for about here, so a couple of little bits further on. Yeah, starting to get those contacts now. That's a HQ team there, so we've seen two infantry HQ teams so far. Or well, three, sorry. Uh, there's one lurking around back here, so that's probably a higher... Oh, there's another one there as well. Interesting. See, we're just kind of gathering more information all the time. Uh, it's another M240. That's a different M240. That's the different one, isn't it? So yeah. Oh, there's another HQ. Okay, so yeah, way to make it complicated, chap. Come on. That's it's one, two, three, four, five HQ elements there. That's that's no fun. Um, so this guy's mort call it mortar platoon. Uh, Company HQ um, 1 platoon, 2 platoon, and that leaves one left over, so I don't know, battalion scouts maybe? Or, you know, maybe he's, uh, something he definitely did in uh, our other games is he really task, task focuses or task organizes uh, his troops. So it could be, you know, this is the fire support group for for the north. So that's just going to be a platoon cut right down to just the bare, you know, exactly what he needs to get that done, and, and that's it. All right. So you know, you can scrounge up more points that way, scrounge more value out of your points rather. I've sort of done that, but not as well. Uh, and yeah, uh, Roland here in second squad. Has snuck into this building where they are going to, well, where they are in position to ambush anybody who comes up close there. Uh, so yeah, another quiet one. No artillery. Uh, always good. Uh, nothing. Yeah, nothing to really report. Uh, this one, this uh, squad here that. 
may potentially have been aiming that way. Uh, looks like they've... Uh, swapped in towards the center. So again, looks like chap is focused uh, on alpha. So yep, that's good. Uh, now I did do the check. Uh, if I have uh, each 120 mil mortar here can uh, uh, so a, a fire mission, uh, a medium intensity fire mission uh, will last them 11 minutes and a high, a heavy mission will last them 6. So uh, that's something I need to take into account if I'm going to start thinking about fire missions. So we could start dropping some mortars on them just about we could do like a little fun quick barrage like yeah see this is one of the problems of relying on PRPs which is that's the closest I can get it and they're not liable to be that accurate so of course where chap's gonna be in three minutes I don't know but yeah, too early yet. Like I said, I want to get him. I want to fix him. I want him to get bogged down. Uh, and then smack him around. So, right, let's... Uh, get... Horza Ominid. Let's get that squad. So, I was saying, we need to start reacting uh, with some of these other squads. Let's get you guys in there. And get you all looking that way, because that should cluster you up in that corner uh, where we can look up there. Uh, that's just a general guide, is the uh, target tool there. Let's bring you up there. Uh, you. Uh, Ilias Safer. And let's bring Donahue there. That's just so they're a little bit a little bit closer. You know, we're, we're not into a position with uh yeah, you guys are hiding, aren't you? Um you know, not in a position where we're starting shooting yet. I really need to hold fire until the right moment. Um, are there other things that we could get doing here? Uh, well, we could because uh, these guys here are definitely going to cross this road, aren't they? If uh, if Chap wants to move them in on Alpha or explore other options, uh, he needs to move. Uh, he needs to cross that road. So can we move? Third platoon, uh, James and uh, Barker Carthago over here, uh, into the front of these buildings and cover the road. Is that a good idea? Maybe. Uh, so, this is actually in combat mission terms not a bad position, uh, these buildings. So, it, usually a little bit skeptical of buildings as fighting positions because, you know the pixel trap and all stand at the bloody windows and get themselves shot. But um, here there's this small wall outside in front, there's another wall over here. So there's actually a lot of stuff that can intercept and disrupt incoming fire. Uh, plus uh, it doesn't look particularly like yeah, so Chaps Bradleys can't see down that far. Uh, where's even... Where are we? Yep, there we go. They can't really see it properly. Uh, and they'd be shooting through their own men and through that... Uh, some of the trees here, which would be nasty. So you'd have to bring the Bradleys out, uh, like over here, to engage. Which, you know, 
they'd be out in the open at least, I'm not sure how much he wants to do that. Uh, the AT-13s might catch a, a whiff of them and have a go, which would be good fun. Uh, so we could bring these guys forward. The issue is I don't really, really don't want to go off half cocked. I, I really don't want to start shooting at him and making him think twice about uh, like getting into the objectives because uh, then he can just hold off. I, I need to sucker him in and get him stuck in a place where I can inflict heavy casualties on him. Uh, you know, it's like if he... Uh, Uh, somewhat like boiling a frog, that old metaphor, if you chuck, chuck a frog in a pan of boiling water it jumps out because you know what, it doesn't want to die, but if you do it slowly uh, it doesn't really realize what's going on until it's too late. So yeah, it's still a bit early to actually kick anything off. Uh, might be worth doing what we did with um, uh, Roland squad up there and just target arcing these guys. A uh, good 50 meter target arc. Completely arbitrary number. Uh, and then crawling them forward into. There is a door there, isn't there? Yes. F crawling them forward to there just so they're in the right position. And we can just snap. You know. In position. Uh, to trigger an ambush or a fire ambush, these guys. Yeah, they can sort of see. Uh, might be worth running these guys through here as well, actually. We'll pop them out the back. Uh, get them in there and do the same thing in that center building because I just need the was a contact over here which has since disappeared which I'm not a fan of. Uh, these guys should... well no they can't see a thing actually can they? <sighs> um, yep so the infantry platoons are reorienting AG-13s are still covering the highway. We could... Maybe... <laughs> maybe get one of the AA trucks down here to cover down there, but yeah, I don't know, that seems a bit much. Yeah, let's uh, let's shuffle some of these supporting elements forward. Uh, that's A Company HQ. That's Austin. Uh, just so that they're in Bravo as well. And then we have the Battalion HQ with Pelican Taco. Let's get them across that road and into Echo because that's the next area that's really under threat. Uh, yeah, you know, could maybe maybe drive a technical up there and shoot round the corner, but I kind of feel like it's the kind of thing I'd get away with once. about there in preparation just so we have the option uh, let's see could we actually do it uh, where are they over here
Come on. That's the one. Uh, so we we could get a bit of area fire in there. That would at least complicate Chap's life a little bit. He's probably planned for it though. Yeah, we could do that. That's yeah, not yet, but we can get in position to do it. Let's think about this other one. Where can we set you up? Um, obviously, bring him here to enfilade this road. That's a bit much. Going to be far too close to Chaps guys there. Oh. See, wireless headphones. I thought they'd gone off again then. I couldn't hear anything. It's like, oh no, I'm not just talking to a mic that can't hear me, am I? Is it worth bringing the QRF up into Delta just to secure that flank a bit more? Uh, hmm. Possibly. So firing positions wise, don't want to be in the top floors, that's going to be too exposed. But being down here, um, in the bottom floor uh, with these walls, there's like alternating high and low walls, like the world's worst crenellations all the way along. We could quite happily secure off this flank of them here, but... Mm, Again, a bit early. Wait till the uh, fighting properly develops. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Send it back and see what we get on the next term. He's getting.